Good day here. My name is Mark Twain. And if you listen here now, I have a bit of a story to tell you all. It seems there was a fellow once by the name of Jim Smiley. Yep, his name was Smiley. I don't reckon I know why, except his face. Always had a big moon grin on it that stretched from one ear to the other ear. Some folks even said it stretched clear around the back of the head, too, but I can't say for certain if that's the truth. Well, here's that rascal now. I guess with a face like that, there could be worse names for Jim Smiley, don't you think? He could have been Jim Grumpy, or Jim Cranky, but that would quite fit my story. Anyway, was the spring of 49 or 50, that's 1849 or 1850, that this traveling man, this Jim Smiley, happened across Calaveras County, California. Calaveras County, Jim Smiley has arrived. He wasn't a shy sort of fellow. And I'm the smartest, quickest, fastest, and bestest looking man this country has ever seen. He thought right highly of himself, too. And I can beat any man or woman at any game, any time, anywhere. So you name it. I'll play it, you call it, let's do it. <coughs> he wasn't used to lacking in what we used to call gumption. For a price. Any takers? You see, Jim Smiley was the most curious man who ever lived about betting on anything that turned up. If there was a cat fight, oh, bet him. If there were two birds standing on the fence, I'll bet him which one will take off first. Or how about this? See that little bug over here? I'll bet you how long it takes for that little bug to get to where it's going. And darn if he wouldn't follow that bug all the way to Mexico to was proved right. Because the most curious thing about Jim Smiley was that he was lucky. Uncommon lucky. He most always came out the winner. He, well, I'll let you all just see for yourselves. I have myself here, the swiftest horse on this side of Mississippi. Why you, sir? You want to see a horse so fast you don't know what color it is? What? There's no horse that fast. <coughs> you haven't seen my thunderbolt. Why, when I came to California from Missouri, one day I'd come to find out that I'd only packed for one bootlace. Darned if Thunderbolt didn't run all the way back to Missouri and fetch my other bootlace before I had my first boot laced up. That's impossible. What are you taking for? Not just any kind, no sir. Not at all. Just thought maybe be itching to see my Thunderbolt. Why, I was in the barn one sunny day, and sure as I'm standing here, Thunderbolt was out of that barn before daylight came in. That's a fact. I don't have time to be lost. What? Get out of my way. Why, I'll just have to show you myself. Well, here she is. Thunderbolt. Run on over here and let this young man take a hand right This is it. Oh, she's the woman, isn't she? <coughs> Where's the passport? Well, hey, you're looking at it. What? Oh, you can cry on me now, Thunderbolt. We'll go stretch your legs some today. But no more running in circles. Last time you ran in circles, you got round the circle, cut up to yourself, and you passed your own tail. That may be worse than making one to run the town square. What? Not even if you push her. Oh, you think she's slow, huh? Okay. Don't suppose you think the lazy like you could be her around the town square. <coughs> That's what I said. Don't make me laugh. <coughs> no, you can beat her. You're too slow. But I'm faster. Way, way too slow. Just look at you. No siree. As a matter of fact, I can. I'm faster than that old horse. Well, I've got five dollars that says you can. I've got five dollars that says I can. Well, I like the way <coughs> your money talks, sir. It'll sound good in my pocket. I'll send you five dollars for two. I sure do hope that your big feet are as fast as your big mouth. Big feet? Slow feet. I got the fastest feet in the West. I highly doubt it. My feet are big. <coughs> so are these hoes. Let's go. Thunderbolt, run on over here and get ready to race this man around the town square. You call that running? She's just saving up her energy. What energy? Okay, okay. On your mark, get set, go!
Thunderbolt, this five dollars gonna buy us both a mighty fine supper. I say we go get us some grub. Well, that day, Jim Smiley figured that Calaveras County was a proper place for his kind of business, the contest business. It was a perfect match. Jim Smiley had a whole stack full of ideas, and it seemed those Calaveras County folks had stacks of money to lose. Listen here, Calaveras County. I suppose you all feel fairly intelligent in these parts. A few of you have a bit of education in you. I hear that one or two of you can count to 20 while keeping your shoes on. But I want to claim as an undisputed, unarguable point of truth that the smartest one amongst you here in this town can't even outthink my dog. It's not the fact. As far as toughness, too. Can't outthink your dog? That's ridiculous. Don't even try, man. You're likely to hurt yourself. This dog? Why? He's a dog genius. A genius? He makes other pups feel right ashamed. <laughs> well, if you look at this dog, you think he weren't worth a cent. If ever there was a dog that could be this downright dim with it, it was Jim Smiley's dog. <laughs> he makes most people feel a bit tough, too. I have you know I happen to be the most educated person in Calabar's County. Now who would that make you? I'm the school teacher. That don't make you smarter than a dog. I am too smarter than a dog. Why, well, he's been to college. They can't teach dogs in college. Well, that's what he found out. There was nothing left for them to teach. He already knew how to read and write in six languages. That's when he left to join the army. He became a general in two weeks, he did. Possible. He's as, play, he's as brave in battle as the 12 toughest men you've ever seen put together. <coughs> Plus, if you look at this dog, well, you think he won't worth a cent, but it looked like he'd given a barking because he scared himself half to death with his own yell. <coughs> you must take me for some kind of fool. Not just any kind, but the finest, rare. Calabar's brave fool that I have come to appreciate and admire. Well? Well, for I declare this splendid specimen of canine courage truly enough to put any good American in off. For not only does he have the brains of Shakespeare or any of those fine Greek fellows of old times, but this year dog is as mean as a rattlesnake in a bad mood. Quite as dead. That dog, me? Smart as Shakespeare? That dog is deadly for It's only fair to warn you for your own safety. Now, it's best not to let AJ here lose his temper. The last unfortunate soul who got him mad was never seen nor heard from again. Oh, I'm so scared. Maybe you can think of a way to stay awake. That must be the laziest damn dog in Calaveras Perhaps you folks would like to back up some of your insults with a wager. How much you fix your news? How could you possibly prove? Well, I may be new to this town, but I said the lack of proper respect for AJ here. Respect? You got that right? <clears throat> for all the way to each of you, ten new American dollars, that in two minutes, this noble puppy will teach both of you some respect, some manners, <coughs> canine admiration, and my money's yours. You want me to admire your money? <coughs> Why? You'll be in awe of him. <coughs> What can you teach? No dog is going to teach me anything. You'll just have to learn your lesson the hard way. <coughs> well, heck, I've got ten dollars. So do I. Not long. Oh, right. My money's safe. Let's see it. AJ, huh? show these folks what you Let these fo I think these folks are judging you on your appearance. <coughs> no, I believe it was him. Oh, it was not me, it was her. Her. AJ, show these folks what you made up. <laughs>
He stood so tall in Calaveras County that you could see that big head of his at a distance of 50 miles every time he stood up. But the problem with a battle like this has is that he can't stop. He's always got to think himself a new idea, and always bigger and better. Let's see. I can bet who's Brewster crows the loudest. Yeah, only I don't have a rooster. How about a bug crawling contest? Cause listen up, folks, Jim Smiley's got the fastest caterpillar in the West. Well, some caterpillars aren't so fast. I'm not going to train. No, that ain't it. Come on, there's gotta be something, Jimbo. There's just gotta be. Hey, wait a darn minute. Come here, Froggy. Stop for one thing a second, let me talk to you. Hey, hey there, you big old Froggy. Jim Smiley's in it. Games and skills, there you do with my game. How would you like to have all the flies and any frog you ever want to eat? And maybe some cricket, some beetles too? I think we can work that out. Partners, huh? Friends, yeah, you might just make us both rich. Like I told you that Jim Smiley was uncommon lucky, for he found himself one of the biggest and potentially jumpiest frogs who ever leaved himself off a of little bit. But Smiley didn't think himself a fool either. He went about getting that frog in tip-top jumping shape. You call that a jump? A jump? Well, that's no jump at all. I can jump far on that with both my feet tied together. He was quite the demanding sort of coach. All right, froggy. Looks like we're going to run some laps around the farmyard. Come on, hop to it. Jump! Now! Problem was, this frog also happened to be the most ordinary frog to ever grow. It would sooner spit water at you than the one it had no notion of doing. Jump! 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 <coughs> also, it was the hungriest amphibian who ever got one of the Jumbo. It would have content itself with mosquitoes and flies like a regular group. No, it would eat just about anything. How about an apple? And some custom pie? And maybe a big old block of cheese to top it off with? Now, some of you might think that frogs don't like cheese. <coughs> but you've never met this frog. He liked everything. There was a farmer once in Calaveras County that he swore he saw it swallow a whole pig all at one time. When he was done, he let out a burp, and they could still hear that pig oinking in that green belt. And that's a fact. All right, froggy. I fed you, I fed you all for good. Now let's get ready to jump. That's it. Stretch out those three muscles. You're the best, Jeff. Nobody's going to out-jump you. Show Jim Smiley who's the best jump in front of Calaveras County. All right. On your mark. Get set. Hop. Well, not bad. Not bad at all. Of course, I think anybody can come up with a three-legged hog that can jump twice as far as that. Let's try it again, Froggy. <coughs> On your mark. Get set. Hop. Well, I like that jump. I surely did. I like it so much that I wish my 98-year-old grandmother was here to see it, too. That way we can have her jump against it, and she'd be clear across the barnyard for you made two feet. Maybe I ought to give up on the frog jump business and try cow jumping instead, because I truly think that any old cow can jump far into the On you get on your lazy mark, get your sliding feet set, pop. Well, that was some jump, yes sir! That's the most respectable jump I've ever seen! Daniel, we're changing your name, Froggy, we're changing your name to Daniel Webster, because you're the most distinguished frog jumper there ever was. Why, you're a regular distinguished statesman among frog jumpers. <coughs> I think it's time we have the contest. And quite a contest it was to be. Smiley jumped it up in a huge way. He made himself of posters, banners, and signs. It was going to be the biggest event to hit Calaveras County since a farmer swore he saw his mule give a birth to a two-headed turtle. Listen up, Calaveras County. It's your old friend Jim Smiley back here once again. Now, I know a lot of you folks have lost a bit of money to me over the past few weeks, and I'd be a liar to say I was awfully grateful for your courteous generosity. I truly, truly am. He just couldn't stop himself. Your kind donations to my bank account are more appreciated than you'll ever know. You played it up like he had all you know, friend. That's using the word mighty loosely. Let it never be said that Jim Smiley <coughs> wasn't a decent man. Yes, sir, Jim Smiley's an honorable man. Fair and square. 
sort of fellow. Can you believe this braggart? He's laughing at us. Deep, deep down, I'm a humble man. And I do feel sorry for you folks. Arrogance. So that too, the big tackle of me can top it. It's not long of a matter. Listen here, because I've been back on a square, fair and square deal for you folks. No trickery, no trickery at all, folks. I don't trust you. Because I've been fed, it's a plum perfect way for all my friends in Calaveras County to go and win their money back. You may even double, even triple your money. I doubt it. Highly unlikely. Because I've, in fact, got the world famous celebrated jumping frog of Calaveras County. That's one big frog. <laughs> this fine athletic amphibian has been around the world jumping for kings and queens, dukes and duchesses. He's jumped across the Great Wall of China without breaking sweats. He's the first and only frog to jump from England clear on over to France. He got so easy jumping the English Channel that they started pushing England and France farther apart just to make his jumps tougher. I think he's stretching the truth just a bit. But now <laughs> he's back in Calaveras County and ready to have his biggest competition yet. Because Daniel Webster will take all cover. He can flat out, honest to goodness, out jump any frog that anybody's willing to bring on down to Main Street. And I'll bet every cent I own that I'm going to win. And I ain't worried. Cause I'm Jim Smiley, folks, and I'm a born winner. I'm not wasting my money again. I'm trying to feel like a fool of rescue. Wait a minute. I've got an idea. A great idea. Follow my lead. Huh? Just trust me. What? Follow me. Well, alright. How about you folks? Who wants to win their money back, huh? I do. There's the spirit. Uh, me too. Alright, who else? Are you ready to take any bets? Absolutely. I can't wait, Mr. Smiley. We're all in. Oh, yeah. Tell me to do it. Oh, yeah. I want those books back for sure. Absolutely. 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 How about the rest of you folks? It's going to be a beautiful contest. Who wants to make a bet with me? Huh? I do. I do. I do. I do. Oh, fantastic. I can take care of all of you folks. I won't turn down any decent wages. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Oh, it's Mr. Smiley. Yeah? Well, I just indeed warn you about something. About what? Well, this town has been known to have a bandit or two run loose from time to time. So? Well, with all the money in your hand, it just isn't safe. Not safe at all. We'll serve you. Well, what should I do? I would go put it in a bank. Okay, take a plum for that. Oh. You put the in the bank. Oh, right, the bank. But I don't exactly see a bank around here. There's no bank in this town. But five miles down the road, they've got one. A good one. Don't do it. Well, all right. I'll go down and put my money in the bank. Uh, just to pick it up after the contest. But, uh, hey there, DW. I gotta run down to the next town for a minute. And old Thunderbolt can't exactly carry the both of us. So, why don't you sit here a spell, and I'll be back a little later on to pick you up. Tonight, we can have a contest to end all contests. Oh, we'll take care of you, little jumper. You won't be going anywhere. Just the same, I think I ought to tie him up to this hitching post, make sure he doesn't hop away. <coughs> Just look at the size of that frog. Hitched up like a horse. Can't imagine a frog being any bigger. There, you all set, you know you? I'll be back in just a minute. With some food, a pre-game meal. All right, see you later, folks. You best be getting your own frogs ready to jump. <laughs> oh, we'll get your frog ready, but I don't know about the jumping part. Hello there, froggy. You know, it seems to me that your friend Mr. Smiley needs to be taught a lesson. <coughs> that boy, that boy's got way too many Does he treat you right? I sure hope so. No. Well, tarnation looks like he hardly feeds you. Just look inside of that frog. <coughs> frog needs to be well fed and replenished. He looks like he hardly feeds you. We need to get him some food. Some nourishment. Some growth. So his belly is well fed and replenished. Why do you lay? No reason to wait. Pronto. Let's eat. That day, that frog 
did eat some that day. They say that he ate so much food that the whole of California went on a diet, because there is nothing but trouble. They fed that frog biscuits and cakes, cornbread and rice, strudel and syrup, bacon and cheese. Then they fed in big pots of stew, potatoes, and egg. And they topped it all off with a 10 gallon bucket of jam. Fact is, they fed him so much food that the first time in his whole hungry and busy life, he was full. Welcome to the first annual Jumpin' Frog Contest. This sleepy town has never seen such an excitement. In just a moment, we'll have the proper arrangements for each tumultuous experience will commence. Alright, alright. Let's get that sign name. A little more to the left. There you go. Is the Calaveras Community Band ready over there? Look over your music shop collection. Alright, alright. Please, everyone. Let's get the frogs lined up. D.W. Daniel Webster. Hey, where did he go? You didn't up and hop away, did you? Come back. <coughs> oh, Mr. Smiley, there you are. Hey, have you seen my froggy? Why, he was here a second ago. Well, I gotta get to him. It's about time for that contest. Come to think of it, I think he's a little hungry. Oh, he's always hungry. Come to think of it, I think I saw him down by the general store eating a snack. Just couldn't wait, could he? Not a second of patience. No self-control, that one. Did you put all your money in the bank? Yeah, sure did. It's all safe, and it'll be all mine. How about we just double our bets? Double? No, triple. On behalf of the whole town, let's just triple those bets. Somebody needs to teach you folks a lesson on the dangers of gambling. Do we have a deal? I guess I'll just have to teach the school teacher. Deal? Deal. Now, where's Steve help you? Come on down and take your mark, little fella. What in sorry nation? I think he's got a bit of a tongue here. It's time. Let's start that contest. Let's go. E.W. Move. You can't tell the way to leave. My frog. My frog is ready to jump. Folks, stand below the little rest. The suit the beat can't get your shape in a calaveras snare. And little Loretta, the learned leaper of the lily pad. You go first, Smiley. Let's see if you can jump a ditch. <coughs> All right, C.W. On your mark. <coughs> get set. Pop. Oh, no. Come on, D.W., move. Move your big green keys to I don't rather think you can. I think all our frogs can have done that thing. I'm in trouble. Let's move it now. My little rat is ready. Little rat is waiting too. Step aside. It's a little rat's concern. Okay, give me two points to play. Okay, I'll go. Get set. Jump in the rat. It's up in the air, folks. And he lands. Official measurement 92 and one half inches. That's going to be tough to talk. All right, all right. Let's give Little Loretta some air here. On your mark, get set, leave Little Loretta. Up and up, great toes of thunder. And she lands back feet first, measuring out to 102 and one half inches. A new amphibian world record. How about that? Stupendous. I oh, might just croak. The bet was, Mr. Smiley, that your frog can outjump any and every frog in the contest. <coughs> hey, uh, friend, let's just try it again next week. No more nothing? No way. All right, since you tripled Joe's bets, Mr. Smiley, we'll be hearing you from again. You're an awesome man, Smiley. We'll make sure you're good for it. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm good for it. Just smile at my name, and, uh, well, honestly, it's my game. <laughs> Hey there, Calaveras County. It's your old friend, Jim Smiley, back here once again. 
And I'm clear out of the contest business, folks. And I'm into show business. And I got a yellow cow that don't sing a song as pretty as you've ever heard. But this cow, she don't just sing. She's a mighty fine dancer, too. Well, if you thought that of Jim Smiley, you surely would have thought wrong. Have a good day, folks. <laughs>